So, Joshua, you have built an extraordinary company. I mean, I think truly, if you have know anything about digital avatars, HeyGen is the top of the game. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. So, how long ago did you start HeyGen? Tell me a little bit about your journey. You know, I, I want to understand where your technology is and in our conversation, understand where it's going. Sure, definitely. Um, the journey of HeyGen started back in 2020. Um, Long ago in 2020. Yeah, yeah, I think that was the time that we didn't have the term called generative AI. And I was working at very, you know, similar technology, enabling, you know, using AI technology to enhance the camera experience at Snap. And, and I just felt that, you know, the technology can continue to evolve and potentially, you know, generate something that does not exist in the world, but still feel high, you know, uh, realistic. Right. So that's how we started the company. And in fact, I think the, the, the funny thing about the mission of a company in the beginning, we call it replacing the camera. Replacing the camera, yeah. Because I think if we look back the past 15 years, um, you know, mobile camera is really the thing that enable a lot of people creating content. But still, there's so many people are not being able to like create a good content using the camera, either because camera shine or camera being very expensive in business. And we felt that if we can replace the camera, we can remove the barrier for the visual storytelling for the business. And that's how we started the journey. Amazing. Well, you've come a very far way. I think you've got a video to kick us off. Yeah. To give us a sense. Let's run that video so sure. folks can get a sense of your technology. Yep. Hey, everyone. I'm Joshua. And yes, I'm here on stage with you, but I'm also right here as his digital twin. Do we look alike? This is HeyGen's avatar technology in action. I can deliver video messages without a camera or production crew. This ranges from video ads to how-to videos to trainings and so much more. I can also speak in over 170 languages and dialects. For example, Hola, abundancia 360. Estoy muy emocionado de sumergirme contigo en el futuro de la generación de videos con inteligencia artificial. Besides just speaking different languages, I can even engage in real-time conversations, whether it's on your website, product or platform. Imagine what this could mean for your business. Joshua and Peter, I'll let you take it from here. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Love that. Uh, the technology has gotten so extraordinarily powerful, uh, and yet we're just at the very beginning. So where does this go? What's your vision for where this is going? How will I use these avatars? Yeah, so... I think things are happening in, in, in two ways, I would say. One thing is that every individual will be able to you know, easily visualize their ideas, and every business will be able to access more videos creation. Every business will be creating hundreds, you know, uh, 100x more videos in the, in the business communication. And I think the business content is going to be more engaging compared to the old days of email, images, taxes. That's one. And that's happening very, very fast today. We have seen customers like creating tons of videos, like promoting their business. I think on the other side, which is also very exciting, I think everybody know, you know, the AI agent role is like happening very fast as well. And, you know, I think the next interface for us to really interrupt the AI agent, maybe actually we started from chatting by typing the text. And then I think it's going to very, very soon we're going to interrupt the agent with voice interface. And then very, very soon, we're actually going to see it, everybody be able to like meet, you know, um, have a meeting with the agent and in the video interface. And I think that's uh, something that we are seeing, you know, very exciting for the future. Yeah, I mean, I think you've been building these avatars and you can have your avatar go attend a Zoom meeting for you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, I love that. I don't know about you guys, but some <laughs> Zoom meetings, I would much rather have my avatar do the work. You know, I think about this in the future where I can build a really rich, uh, identic agent. In other words, an agent that knows everything about me, knows everything about my company, that if you ask the agent a question and ask me a question, you're going to get the same answer. Imagine being able to create not one, but like a thousand agents and send them out to a thousand different conferences on your behalf, go and cut deals, and bring back you know, business for you. Is that possible? Is that where we're going? Yeah, I, I think, you know, um, not only about that, I think there's another thing is that you will be able to have your agent 
talk to people in different languages, right? yes. which was not possible uh, before. And you know, it, it is always hard to touch customers in different region, different language. And now you can really enabling that. And that's one. I think that the second thing is that you can really like in run your agent meeting in parallel and having your customer interacting with you at the same time, like hundreds, thousands of different sessions happening at the same time. Yeah, and the other thing is, I don't know about you, if you are working on new products or services, I know my team will bring me in and say, hey, can we get you to record a video at this particular time? But you put the video up and it's not hitting properly, so we want to change the pricing, we want to change the name, we want to change all these things. Instead of pulling me into the, you know, into camera or hiring someone to come in and talk about your new longevity clinic or whatever it might be, you can spin up your your Hadron avatars to iterate rapidly as quickly as you want, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's exactly how how we you know um, um, start the company and solve the camera piece problem. And in fact, you know, even for myself, uh, I already created probably, you know, more than 300 different avatars uh, in the past four years because really just testing out the technology. But even today, if you have me to like really, like you said, uh, I want to film something in front of camera, I still feel like, all right, I need to do some preparation for that. I might sometimes need a one or two with shoot and, and I need to pick up good lighting, things like that. But avatar really helps us solve that problem for, for people and being able to like create content anytime. Yeah, I remember last year, Steve Brown, my chief AI officer, member of our community here, uh, who will be coming out and joining us in a couple minutes, uh, he created a Peterbot avatar of myself, right? Which uploaded all of my knowledge, all of my books, all my podcasts, everything known about me. And I did a podcast with Peterbot. And I was blown away. Peterbot was much more eloquent, much more knowledgeable, much smoother. I mean, honestly, I felt very deficient in front of Peterbot. It didn't stammer to remember something in its memory, and it was just very compelling. And so there's this incredible power that you have. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's, and that's very exciting, just getting started. Yeah, it's just getting started. I know you've got a marketing video, um, which I've asked you to play, because I want people to see all the different ways that people can utilize this. I really want this to be one of the technologies everybody plays with this year. It's easy. You just have to make a commitment to actually try it. So please, you know, one of the things I'm looking for you to do is commit to certain things. This is one of them. Let's, let's play that marketing video if we could. Yeah, sure. Today, video is everything. You need speed, creativity, and consistency. With HeyGen, you can create the most lifelike avatar videos, 10 times faster than traditional production, scale across 175 different languages, looks, and platforms, all in 4K. Your clients want more, more videos, more engagement, and more results. HeyGen gives you the tools to deliver. Need personalized videos that feel custom? Done. Launch interactive, engaging campaigns that deliver more for your clients and do it all without blowing the budget. No expensive studios, no costly talent, just beautiful, effective videos that drive results. And here's a secret. We used HeyGen to create me. Join the future of storytelling. Become a HeyGen certified agency partner. I find that extraordinarily impressive. Um, we're going to talk about in a few minutes how each of you can walk away with your own HeyGen avatar this week, right? It should be something that all of you commit to do, including the teens. I would love you guys to do this. Uh, so let's talk about the two parts. There's, there's the voice, and then there's the video persona. And one of the improvements in the video persona is hand movements, backgrounds. I mean, that's relatively recent. Can you speak about that? Yeah, so, and if you look at the technology itself, you know, we, what we are truly building is a, you know, is a human-centric video model, right? right? So I think the difference is about human-centric video model versus a general video model is that, you know, we need to like be able to like present um, and the engaging um, effect, like such as gesture and the way how you move and you move your body, body languages and expression, things like that. And there's a couple of elements out there. Voice is definitely one. 
I think video is another one. And what we usually require is that we'll take up roughly two minutes of training footage from you. Two minutes of video. Okay. Yeah, two minutes of video. And then we will, our AI model will try to learn, a, learn that, you know, from how, the way how you speak, how you muscle move on your face and your expression, and as well as very importantly, how your body language match your expression. Yeah. Because everybody's body language is different. I think the two minutes footage will help us to really personalize your model behavior and um, after that. And that's roughly how it works. And obviously, if we build our own AI agent um, behind it, you know, you need to input the knowledge base that you have and whatever you know, documents or keynotes interview you, ha you might have before, and we enable that as an LLM layer behind it. Yeah, uh, it's, it's truly amazing. Let me, let me suggest two things to everybody here if you've not done this. I think they're very important in this age of, you know, photorealistic visual and auditory avatars. The first is you're going to receive a phone call from somebody you think you know. And it may be a FaceTime video from someone you think you know. And they may ask you to do something incredibly crazy like, can you please wire money here or can you please uh, send money so I can get out of jail? I'm serious. I've had lots of friends who've had that happen to their aging parents and so forth. Everybody here, one thing that you should do is, is choose a, a word, a password, or something that if you have any doubt about the authenticity of the phone call or the video call you're getting, ask for it, right? It makes sense. It's super easy to do. Have that conversation at dinner. The second thing is if you're lucky enough to have your parents or grandparents around, do two things. If you can, record their avatar. If you can't do that, sit them down for a couple of hours with your iPhone and ask them for their story, for their history, record their video, record their voice. And this is for your kids and their grandkids, right? Please do that. It's extremely valuable. You'll be able to bring them back as your family history. Make sense? Great. So, Joshua, let's talk about what you have enabled for us here uh, at the Google Tech Hub. Yeah, sure. So, we have our booth uh, uh, in the back. Uh, we are giving the opportunity for all the intended, uh, attendees to create your own digital twin uh, over there right at the conference. And, and it's for free. And you're going to be able to um, record your footage, uh, the training uh, um, footage for the AI model training, and then going to be able to get your avatar today. Um, and is this a glimpse to the future of AI video creation? And then, you know, uh, we'll be able to like, test it out uh, on your HGN account. Yeah, so I want you to see how good this is. Uh, we had a few members do this last night. And I want to show you one of them that got processed overnight. Uh, Reichard, are you here in the audience? Where are you? OK, Reichard, good to see you, my friend. Uh, I'm, waiting, I'm waiting for my, uh, my flying Jetson as soon as I can get it. Let's watch Reichard, yeah. uh, his avatar. So he's not backstage. He's over there. Let's play the video. From now on, I can speak in any language with my own avatar and my own voice. Esto significa que puedo comunicarme con cualquier persona, sin importar en qué parte del mundo esté. Et ce n'est pas seulement une question de traduction. Mon avatar capte mes expressions. Je sens que je peux faire que les gens puissent entendre ce que je dis. Je sens que je peux utiliser leur langue. Je ne peux pas le dire. Aucun personne ne peut comprendre ce que je dis dans ma langue. Avec cette technologie, je peux communiquer avec tous les gens à une hauteur de hauteur. Willkommen in einer neuen Ära der Kommunikation. Amazing, huh? Let's give it up. It was, it was extraordinary. And, and Reichert, how easy was that to do? Four minutes of your time. And then an infinity, 175 languages. That's insane. So this, again, please take this home with you. Play with this. Your whole goal here is to do something different. You know, at least show it to your kids or your, your, you know, your spouse when you get back. Yeah. Um, 
what's most exciting for you in the future here? I'm very excited about the mission that we have, enabling you know visual storytelling for yeah. all. Yeah. Um, I think uh, today when we talk about video, video is the main format for people to consume on the internet. Um, but still, I think less than one percent of the audience, one per less than one percent of our people, are able to actually create great videos. And you know, I think camera is the first problem, and we are actively solving that. And also, with a lot of agentic technology from the AI model advancement, and I think video editing is going to be solved with AI very soon as well. And think about like the role like this. You know, every time you want to um, um, send out an email, in, in, instead you could actually turn that email into a video and send it to yeah. the whole company, and give the video format to the customer so they can watch it on their own. I think those are the future that we are very excited about. Uh, I agree. I know that some people are concerned or scared about their identity, their image being stolen and being used to promote something they're not involved in. But there, you have protections against that, don't you? Yeah, we do, definitely. So, so first of all, we take trust and safety seriously on the platform. Every single avatar created on HeyGen will require the first party consent where you, know, you have to you know, uh, give a video consent format so that we can verify that. In so the you have back. to go on video and say, this is Peter Diamandis and I give consent to create this avatar, etc. Yeah, and, and um, we, we are proud to say that in the entire history of HeyGen, we never compromise on that consent. Amazing. And no matter who is, no matter who is coming to create an avatar on HeyGen, we always require that. And, and meanwhile, you know, we also have a, you know, a moderation system behind it, just serve as a safeguard. There's a lot of things not allowed on the HGM platform, things like you know, hate speech, uh, fraudulent, and you know, uh, any political campaign. Today, um, we, we have a strictly moderation um, team in the back, combined with AI and human moderator to like, help to make sure that um, no, the technology is being at good use. Yeah, I'm so, so impressed. Last year, I tried to get a, a video acknowledgement from Aristotle to get that video made, and he never responded, but thank you for allowing it to, to happen. Last question here. Uh, let's discuss the difference between integration of an AI agent and my digital clone. Yeah, the way how I look at it is, is in two ways, right? When we talk about AI agent today, we're mainly talking about there's a AI assistant that can help us to do something, not only you know, at the first action, but also a sequence of action, right? And, and I think when we talk about digital twin, it's the enablement about myself, yes. right? It's like, you know, let's say, Peter, you want to have uh, three meetings uh, happening at the same time, and it's kind of like agentize yourself yeah. so that other people can get access to you. And I think there's a combination overlap of these two roles where, you know, okay, the question would be, how does a human uh, interact with agent in the future? I think the most natural way to interact with agent would be a video format, would be a video call, would be a video chat. So I think, you know, you can kind of like attach your digital twin in your AI agent so that other people can interact with it. And mean, meanwhile, you know, you can also get access to other people's agent in a video chat format. Yeah. I don't know if you can feel the speed, the future speeding up in this very moment, right? So when you hire 20 marketing agents, AI agents we've been talking about, those AI agents will show up as you'll give them names. They'll show up on Slack. You can Slack them. You can email them. You can hop on a video conference with them. You can have a Zoom call with your marketing force of 20 AI agents, and they will look unique. You'll have conversations with them. This is the future which is available when? Now. Now. <laughs> All right.